The nice thing about doing this is that this is a blank slate and you can do anything with it. So there's nothing but potential right now. And that can be really inspiring and exciting because once you actually get the art here and you start putting things together, you have to make choices. You always have to make choices and that means that there are options that you didn't take. But at this moment, it's all your options are open and you can really do anything. A big moment of inspiration for me was when I was standing in the Zócalo, which is the main plaza in, in Mexico City. And I had this kind of aha moment <laughs> when I was there because uh, if you know anything about the main plaza, it has uh, the metro, it houses the metro, um, it has a national palace where the president conducts all his business, it has the metropolitan cathedral that was built by the Spanish when they came in and conquered Mexico, and then right next to that they have the Aztec pyramids. And all of a sudden, when I was there, I had this kind of aha moment, like, this is exactly who I am. I am kind of this mixture by, live, by the simple fact of me living here in the United States, but being from Mexico, is that I am kind of mul multiple histories kind of put together into one. And these things that kind of don't seemingly, that don't kind of blend in together very easily, like the idea of having a metro station, but within the metro station, there's the Aztec pyramids that you could actually see. So that was kind of like a, oh, this is a perfect example of how I feel. <laughs> and it has been a source of inspiration in terms of my own art making uh, process. And I, I have used some of that iconography and imagery in my own work. Today I'm waiting for inspiration. I, I'm paint, have my canvas on the wall. I look at it all the time. And sometimes I, I, it doesn't do much for me. But some other time I might get an idea about the canvas, and I'll paint it, and uh, every idea I get and I follow through, I call it an inspiration. I like it the best, and I think a lot of people do for the fact that it's, it's nothing extra to it, it's not about selling, it's not about that, it's about communion, you've seen everybody again, you haven't seen in a year, so that's real cool. It's no extra pressure, everybody's just, you know, in their regular clothes, it's just, it's just about seeing everybody and seeing what somebody's been up to, what they've been inspired by for the year, and what you know, new vision they got for their work and stuff. So it's just a beautiful thing. And it's just, it's like the best part of the show. You know, this part. It's just raw. And it's, and it's just, you know, nothing behind it. Just, just to see everybody and, uh, you know, start the new year off in a great kind of way. It's just, I love it. I love it. And then the reception's great, too. So I think this part and the reception is the best the best part when it comes to the show. And then the show is just kind of like business. And you enjoy being there with everybody too, but this right here is just unfiltered. It's just, you know, happy to see everybody and it's been a long time. It's that initial contact after such a long time. My inspiration is that I think what we're going to try to do here to make things a little different than years past is we're going to do smaller pieces on the side short walls with two or three stacked and we're going to use large pieces on all the big walls and we're going to try to do them straight across with one piece nothing above or below um, which I think will make it feel more spacious and will give us as we go through the space and we look at the art it'll give us an opportunity to contemplate each piece more and more to you know ind independently individually without a lot of other work competing with it. So we're going to try that. And this is a new strategy. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I got it about four minutes ago while talking to Rosa. <laughs> Rosa gives me a lot of inspiration.
do you say orange in Italian? In Italian? Arancia. Arancia? Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to the 10th annual Guard Living Black. The second recipient is Patricia Patterson. Recipient is Roosevelt Washington. We'd like to thank everybody for coming. <laughs> Everything, it just looks so bare compared to what it was earlier. I just think about the reception and there were so many people and all of the artwork was up and now it's, it's like empty, you know, but uh, I guess it's, it's a part of the process, you know, the setting up, the taking down. And here we are, here we are, yeah. It's got its own beauty. Yeah. I think that's all beauty. Mm -hmm. Looking at it. How was the show for you this year? The show was good. The show was very good for me. I got a lot of positive feedback on the, the artwork that I'm doing now and and got some hints into from other people that are into photography. So it was very good. I sold a couple of pieces too, so that. It was really cool. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a good experience. Yeah, it always is. Always.